Hello, lurkers, and hello, you archaeologists. I'm the Johnstruct, and I'm about to begin a room adventure. The room two, if to be precise. But you know, if I say the room two adventure, a the room two, it's gonna sound weird. It's gonna sound odd. So I didn't, I didn't say that. I just said room adventure, and just sort of. Uh, welcome the idea that you understood that I meant this specific game. Uh, but I did play I, I did play the room one before this last week and I will be playing the room three after this next week if we do well enough presumably. but I did the first one all in one. I intend to do the same again. Stick us up a drink. And begin. It says continue game, but I'm starting again. Unless I have to delete something. Tutorial. Click to begin. Click and drag the mouse to look around. That's the thing we are able to do. Double click the note to focus. I don't want to focus on the note. There's something over there. That's our main prize, presumably. Click and drag to open the note. If my calculations are correct, I'm just going to move my controller. Uh, if my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Oh, hello, screams! Glad you're all lurking. Uh, and obviously, you know, don't hesitate to disappear quickly. You need to. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I'm forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust in your wits to uncover it. I'm not the only ghost in this place. AS. I think it's AS. Click the eyepiece in the inventory. The lens is broken. Ah, oh, of course it is. Click the back button to exit the inventory. Right click to zoom out. Zoom out further uh, to view, view the rest of the room. Double click the other table to explore. Double click the round box. Okay. Rotate the keyhole cover. Push the button. No! I was having fun rotating this. Woohoohoohoo! Alright, that was too strong. Just, yeah, we want it to just make it. <laughs> yeah, yes, perfect. Okay, now I've pushed the button. We can drag to open the lead. Map zippy. There we go. A puzzle. Looks like some of the objects can be moved. Slide, open the drawer. No! Okay, fine. Get the lens pick it up. We've got a peculiar looking lens. This lens would do, looks like it would fit the eyepiece. Click to wear the eyepiece. <gasps> There's a fingerprint here. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Click on the fingerprint. Pick up the piece. A small piece of shaped metal. I should try and find where the piece can be used. Click to remove the eyepiece. Yeah, it's very shiny. North, east, south, west. Looks like a piece is missing. I've got a piece, it's just not the right one. 
Doesn't seem to fit here. Twenty third of October, eighteen eighty three. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man such a low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking the grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. de Montfousson, no, that's not Fousson, doesn't have a little thing on, Foucault, is fond of saying, needs must as the devil drives. It falls to me, then, to brief you in your ungodly task, as you should be well aware you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any idea otherwise, I must stress to you that, while the artifact is of enormous value, it is the only of value within the certain small communities of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Oh, look at this. I found a small piece of shaped metal. Fancy that. It says a word. It says south, east, south, west, north. So we can use this. The panel appears to be missing two shaped pieces. found a strange brass sphere. Looks to belong somewhere else. Base looks detachable, but not by hand. What? The big eye. What's the big idea? Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, Seswin. Ses. Now I know the code. Ses. Win. I found a medallion. Thanks, Seswin. Looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Medallion. Oh. The medallion appears to be the wrong shape. Where we got the medallion from, John?
Oh. That's better. I wonder if anything matches this shape. Yes. Yes, it does. Zed. Hourglass. Double S. Thanks, Angel. Got myself a gem. Oh, it's that building. It's the room shape again. Symbol for the room. The logo. Okay, uh, flashing warning. I uh, probably should say that. Uh, somewhere on the screen. Stop that! You've done well to emerge from the crypt. The sound of both mind and spirit. Though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials. 